Hello, hi, how do you do? It is me, Melanda Cashew, coming at you with a mop vote recap video. So yes, it is that time of year again where we get to pick the next mob that gets added into Minecraft. Last week we got to learn what the mobs were, and this week we get to vote for which one of those mobs will be in the next Minecraft update. This year, our choices are the crab, the armadillo, and the penguin. Let's talk about all three and see which one will be the best to vote for. Let's go in order from the reveal, so we'll begin with the crab. The crab is an interesting mob, because although it is a crab, and normally when you think about crabs they spawn on beaches, this crab that Minecraft would add would spawn in the mangrove swamps. And as we can see in the animation here, they can actually climb trees, and even actually look like they're climbing trees on like spiders. So I know these animated trailers show the mobs more animated than they actually are in the game when they come in the game. But I would really like to see them being able to actually climb and have an animation where they actually look like they're climbing sideways. Anyway, that's not the main point of the crab. The main point of the crab is its claw. That one massive claw that it has can actually be used by the player. The claw can be used to break and place blocks from further away, so extending your reach when equipped. In the animation, we actually see a claw floating in the water, so either a crab died here, or the claw sheds off of the crab. And I believe this type of crab that we would get in Minecraft if it wins is the type of crab that would shed off a claw. I don't know a lot about crabs, I just go to beaches in Florida, so I only really see the hermit crabs or ghost crabs trying to eat the poor baby turtles. I never seen a crab in real life with one claw larger than the other, so I don't really know how they would work, but from what we see here, it seems you either have to kill the crab to get the claw, which knowing Minecraft lately, probably not, or it sheds off the crab somehow, or maybe breaks off. It also seems like the crab will be able to wave at you with its giant claw, and maybe wave at other crabs and mobs too, I don't know. This could just be some <laughs> lame crab promotion. As I said, the trailers have more animations than the actual mob would in game, so if they would actually wave is not really that good, I'm not convinced, yeah. But it could be a feature, so if you like it when mobs wave at you, I think the crab will fit you nicely, so go ahead and vote for the crab. So yeah, that is all the information that the video and article gave us about the crab mob. However, I do have another source of information to show you. Thanks to Minecraft China Edition, we can actually see some more crab information here, as well as for the other mobs too. But yeah, translating these, we can see that there is actually some information here that we did not see before, so I guess Minecraft China Edition is more specific, including the ability to breed crabs with kelp, which doesn't really make too much sense since they don't really spawn in the beach like they should. So you would think you would use something to breed them with something that is found in the mangrove swamp, but no. So I guess this means baby crabs will exist. I wonder if baby crabs will have massive claws. That would be uh, pretty interesting and funny to see. And once again, Mojang mentions how crabs will be able to wave at you and other crabs, so I guess this will be a real feature. And finally, they mention specifically that the claw will fall off, or arm as it is mentioned here. The arm just means claw. So yeah, I guess it will fall off somehow, and I guess you won't be able to kill it. However, there should definitely be crab meat, and I cannot bear to see the crab in Minecraft without meat. So... Yeah, if there's no crab meat, then I would, uh, I would wish the crab never won if it did. Alright, let's move on to the armadillo. Armadillos will be able to spawn in hot biomes such as the savanna, and uh, that's all we really know. They say hot biomes, but they only specifically said the savanna, so... But either way, each hot biome could use some more life. Armadillos can get scared and will roll up into a ball, or block because this is minecraft and i guess if you hit them too that would also be the case i wonder if like shulkers they'll be protected when they're in their block form that would be nice to see speaking of things that would be nice to see i hope when they are in their block ball form they also roll around kind of like tumbleweeds if those ever get added like you just see armadillos rolling around in the savannah oh boy the the immersion that would bring
Somehow, the armadillos will be able to drop skewed, which can be used to craft wolf armor. Yep, that's right, wolf armor. That's why everyone wants an armadillo, not because of the animal itself, but because of its drop. We don't know how it will drop the skewed. What we saw in the video just seemed like a left of skewed behind, and we don't know how much is needed to craft armor, or how much protection the armor will do. I'm hoping at least iron armor tier. But yeah, armor for your wolf. So you can now take your wolf on adventures without worrying it will die easily. It would be perfection if dog armor could be enchanted with protection on breaking and mending and thorns and everything. I don't know how many wolf armor pieces there will be. Could just be one piece or four like the player. We'll just have to wait and see if it wins because if it loses, we won't be able to ever see. Real quick, I would like to speculate how the armadillo would drop skewt. Maybe if it would roll around in its block ball form, it would like ram into something, like bump into a block, and then like lose a piece of its shell. And then, yeah, that's how the skewt would pop off. And it does that a few times, and then you get enough to make the wolf armor. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good uh, prediction. All right, moving on to the information that China, Minecraft China edition, gave us about the armadillo. It seems it will have an actual animation when it rolls up, which is kind of expected. And the only other thing here is that we see it says wolf armors, so we could get multiple types, but that could just mean multiple pieces to complete a set. I don't know, but that's uh, all the information we have on the armadillo currently. All right, final mob, let's go. The penguin. So this is the part where Mojang did us dirty. So the other two mobs we know have a useful drop, but the penguin does not. Instead, it is a, well, a penguin, so people are going to like it, and it uses its body power to be useful. But what does it do with its body, you might ask? Well, first of all, did you watch the Minecraft <laughs> mob vote trailer? If you didn't, don't, because I'm going to tell you right here, because that is what this video is for, to tell you all about the mobs. So the penguins will use their body power to push your boat and make it go faster, which ice can already do this, kind of, but I assume this would work in water this time, so yes. Penguins can push your boat to make it go faster, as we can see an example right here. You may have also noticed from the footage here that there are baby penguins. So yes, baby penguins will exist. However, currently we do not know what item can be used to breed the penguin. But before you can breed penguins, you need to find penguins. And these penguins can be found in the stony shore biome, which is a pretty common biome, so penguins are not going to be hard to find at all if they make it into the game. Now, it may seem weird that they would not spawn in a colder biome such as the frozen ocean, but that is because these are macaroni penguins. You know, the penguins that look meaner and have the yellow eyebrows? Yeah. Just like here in the real world, some penguins do live in warmer climates, such as the macaroni penguin. So yeah, penguins being able to make your boat faster is uh, useful, but also not as useful as the other two mobs. But this mob, it means no harm, because it kind of likes being close to the player and other penguins. Because the penguin is a social mob. In fact, as we can see here, they will even sometimes group together to form a circle to talk to each other. Kind of like villagers, but kind of in a unique way. And I would kind of like to see this on my beaches. Well, my stony beaches, that is. Well, actually, it does not say form a circle here, it just says group together, but that's what I would imagine a group of penguins would kind of be like. And once penguins do form a group together, they will enjoy some quiet time. Very interesting. And I say that because it is very interesting how Mojang is putting a lot of effort into the penguin mob rather than its uses like the other two mobs. So, what are we doing? Are we voting for the uses a mob would bring us? or the advanced quality that a mob could bring us, but with a slightly less use. Well, that decision is for you and me to decide. But uh, we're not done talking about the penguin just yet. No, 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 there's more to it. Take a look here. They will be as fast as dolphins when swimming in water, and they are even clumsy when on the land. Penguins will occasionally fall over when walking on the land, and they will also wobble when walking on land. And although they have their flaws on land, they are still elegant swimmers when in water. However, this does not mean that they will die on land. Maybe they'll take damage when they fall. But they are amphibians, so they are perfectly fine on both land and water, no matter the clumsiness or talent. 
All right, there you have it. A breakdown of all three mobs for this year's mob vote. Which one will you be picking? If you have not made a decision yet, I recommend doing so very soon because voting opens later today. So whatever mob you want in Minecraft, you will be able to support it today as well as tomorrow as well. So go ahead and vote for the mob you want. But how are you going to be able to vote? Hmm, 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 very good question. There are three ways to vote for your favorite mob. The first being on Minecraft.net or directly in the Minecraft launcher, or on a special Bedrock Edition server, which will also have many games to play. Which I recommend going with the latter option, because there will be fun mini games to play as you see each mob get their support. We as the Minecraft community are strong. We are powerful. We have all we need to vote. Your vote is important. So go vote. Stop watching this video, just go now. Okay, well, do you want to see the end card first? Because I have more videos for you to watch. Oh wait, what's that? You're not leaving until I tell you what mob I'm going to be voting for? Fine. Alright, here it goes. I, Melodic Cashew, will be voting for the Armadillo because it is a cool mob and it has a use which we have been asking for for years. And we are not going to pass down this opportunity. At least not me. So I will support the Armadillo until the end. I love animals, including wolves, so I will do what I can to protect them. Oh, okay. Alright, vote for what you want, you don't have to listen to me, but you can vote for the armadillo if you want, of course. Vote for anything you want to vote for. Don't let anyone tell you what to vote for. You are free to do what you want, you know? You have a- you have your free rights. Alright, well, if you enjoyed the recap and you learned something new about the mobs, you can hit the like button on this video, as well as subscribing to the channel, and turning on post notifications so you do not miss the next video I upload. Alright, what are you waiting for? Go vote, because it will open soon. I will see you in the next video, which should be where I cover everything that has been announced at Minecraft Live. Alright, see you then. Goodbye.